exclusive. Former teen mom star David Eason arrested for violating Janelle Evans' restraining order against him and trespassing on the land. Oh, we got to talk about this, you guys. To the studio. Hey, cool reporters. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can tell from that new intro, I just got these meta glasses and I'm so excited about them and how they're going to help me level up my content creation and whatnot. But more on that later. Let's talk about David Eason's arrest, shall we? The Ashley's reality roundup just broke the news that the disgraced former Teen Mom star, or Teen Mom tag along, should I say, was spent the weekend in jail. Do you guys remember that video of him, you know, accompanied by a, a very clueless police officer cutting down the locks to Janelle's swamp to go in there and retrieve some of his motor vehicles? Well, that actually wound up landing him in jail. Do you guys remember Janelle was also in on the speaker? I'm going to post the clip in here. Um, why don't I just give a little bit of a pause break for that, actually, so that we can refresh our memory. So oh, there you see him pulling out of the car. They've got the ramp and everything. We saw some dirt bikes on the side over there as well. And now this is a different view of the car pulling in to Janelle Evans's um, home. So we see a flashlight, like the whole thing is crazy. You see someone walking up. I don't know if you're really gonna be able to make out like him cutting the fencing or anything like that, but like it was a whole entire ordeal and operation here. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more so that we can see exactly what went down. Now you see David, there he is. What? Yeah. The fact that he even pulled down the camera and the cops were like, what? Anyway. Now, at this point, I think that this, what you're seeing right here, is a cop car, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, Chanel is actually active on Twitter right now as I'm recording this video. She's not yet talking directly about David, but she is going off. And so, as you can see, um, David and his friends, they pull out of there and the flatbed of the truck is left empty at this point. So I believe that this is where the cops told him, okay, you can leave with certain things, but not those um, dirt bikes. Because again, as part of the order, he was not supposed to be accessing that sort of uh, material. Well, yeah, that video, um, Janelle, she told the officer, listen, he's not even supposed to be there. I've got like a DV restraining order against him. Like, get him the F out of there. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Is there anybody home? Uh, no. Why? Hostile. Okay, I was just making sure nobody was home. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, can I ask why you're there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, there's a gentleman here getting some of his belongings, and I'm just standing by with him. Wait, what are you talking about? Who? Uh. I think his name was David. Yeah, he's not allowed to be at the house. A, There's a no contact order. He's not allowed to be there. Yes, ma'am. As long as you're not here, it, it's okay. That's why I was making sure you weren't here. So there's a no, he's not supposed to be there right now. Like he was, like there's a no contact order and there's also in place that he is not allowed back at the property at all because we have a bed and board order. He had one chance to get his... We, he, had, he had one chance to get his stuff, and that was months ago. Okay, let me call my sergeant real quick, all right? I'll, if you're going to be on the camera, I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Yeah, I'll stay on the... Uh, can you please make sure he doesn't go in my house because he hasn't been there for months? Yes, ma'am. I'll do what I can. Thank you. I'll be and I guess she went ahead and she decided to file a complaint. I believe she wanted to file a complaint about the officer as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I am curious to know what is going to happen to the officer 
for having been so negligent in all of this, but I digress. Anyway, let's get into the article. Uh, direct quote from the Ashley. Both of David's charges, which by the way, are specifically for domestic criminal trespass and violation of a valid protective order, stem from an incident that occurred on the land in October in which David, his girlfriend, Kenley Heatwell, and a few others came to the North Carolina property that Janelle and David once shared. After breaking through the property's gate, David removed a security camera on the property and tried to heist expensive tools, equipment, and motor vehicles from the land. So, you know, the fact that, again, a cop was on the scene, he didn't even go, oh, we have to break down a lock to get in. Like, this doesn't sound good. Oh, the guy is taking down a surveillance camera. Doesn't seem good. He was just there like, yep. All's well here, all's well, you know, the whole thing was just so, 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 so negligently handled. Although Janelle pressed charges against David, his girlfriend and the accomplices are safe for now. And it is suspected that Janelle filed these charges when she was back up in North Carolina the other day. Uh, remember, she was in North Carolina to try to push the divorce from David along, but then David asked for a continuance on that case. And so it's kind of like she flew up there for nothing, but nope, she decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and file these charges while I'm here. I, I, I didn't, you know, I'm from around the way. I'm living here with something. <laughs> I didn't come all the way here just to do nothing. You know what I mean? So good, good for her on that, to be honest with you. What's really odd about all of this is that David's new girlfriend, Kenley, was posting videos of herself and him over the weekend as if the two of them were like together in real time. And, you know, this now come to find out the man was in jail. And I guess she was using this as some sort of a cover for some other stories that had been coming out about him. So for example, um, it was reported that Janelle claimed under oath in the court of law that David had some kind of uh, exploitative material featuring, you know, minors and very compromising positions. This, you know, it really, it makes me want to vomit even thinking about this. It's not something I publish on the main channel. It's something that I publish to my channel members because it is just too much for regular playing YouTube. So if you want to get into that, uh, you can hit the join button, but yeah, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Long story short. Okay. And although Janelle's restraining order against David is supposed to come to an end this month, uh, um, she does have the possibility to potentially extend and I think she's got a good case right now with the fact that he just so brazenly got, you know, came to her property with a police officer, cut down the locks, took down the cameras and just, you know, started stealing basically. Anyway, you guys, I really, really want to know what you guys think about all of this. I just, I'm happy to see David behind bars. I really, really am. I think that's where he belongs. That's where he should always stay. Um, you know, there's another case that he's got going on, a criminal case in which he is charged with allegedly strangling Jace Evans, Barbara Evans' son. And that one is chugging along a little bit too slowly for my liking. And, you know, if it were up to me, the man would be in jail awaiting trial for that. So, you know, although we haven't gotten the win on that yet, We've at least got him in jail over the past weekend and his girlfriend scrambling to cover up for him uh, by posting TikToks of her and him, which is just, you know, I, I can never understand why the ladies just, you know, they see these men like, you know, who have all of these like crazy allegations against them, like violence against women, violence against children, child ABUSC, like all sorts of things, um, violence against animals. So this person has violence against literally everybody, right? And then you go, hmm. And on top of that, he's broke. And there's some other things, but you know what? I'm not going to say them because that would be too rude. You know, if I were to say those things, it would be too rude. But y'all, you guys know what I want to say. Okay. So he's just got nothing but negatives, right? Like there's, I cannot see a, re a single redeeming thing. You know, for example, do you remember that hot mugshot guy, Jeremy Meeks? You know, when his mugshot came out and then the billionaire heiress, you know, was like, oh, you know, you're coming home with me. It's like, okay, well, that's, he was a hottie in that picture. I could see why, you know, she did that. Um, it's not something I would do personally, but I could see, you know, why she folded. it. But when it comes to this one, you're kind of like, girl, like, what do you get out of this? And on top of that, Jeremy Meeks was like landing modeling contracts and stuff. So he was starting to make his own money, you know what I mean? But I digress. He didn't have any, anyway, whatever, whatever. Listen, there's always going to be a desperate girl. That's one thing about the ladies that like, you know, embarrasses me sometimes and disappoints me sometimes is, you know, some of, some of my peeps, some, uh, some of my kinfolk, the lady folk are extremely jealous. 
and they are willing to overlook any and everything just to have a man by their side. Ooh. Oh, anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this scandal. Um, do you think these charges are going to stick against David Eason? He's been charged so many times. He's been off the hook so many times that I personally do not think so. But again, I am waiting for the bigger case, which is the strangulation case. Uh, you know, as far as I'm aware, that one hasn't really moved too, too much since the last time we spoke about it, which is unfortunate because all of this started unfolding a year ago. But listen, that's, that's the law. The law is slow, right? But there's still hope there's still hope. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we will chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.